गुड इवनिंग Very good evening and welcome to Jai Shri Narayan Creations. Hi Vasanthi ma'am, very good evening. Samyukta, Namaste. Hi Usha, good evening. Hi Rekha, welcome to Jai Shri Narayan Creations. So this is going to be something very very uh, simple and easy and a quick painting of a rose on a dupatta so comes under dupatta series and uh, very happy to get connected with you all again now before we start uh, let me just say a few words about the earlier sessions uh, here we go with uh, I have received certain creations on the four uh, chest, chest of drawers and then we have the fabric painting different poses of Krishna and the Jeroka and the Rangoli also. So I will be sharing the designs to you what they have created and hats off to all the creators. Thank you so much for the share. Keep creating. Enjoy it and then do join the class regularly. Okay. So now, first and foremost will be uh, Mrs. Lakshmi Hariharan Mams. One second, let me adjust the camera. I think I can move a little. Yes. yes. So this is Lakshmi Mams. I'll just come that side and show you because I'm not able to see. Lakshmi ma'am has created a fox chest of drawer uh, with the cardboard boxes. Hi Anita, Namaste. Hi Radha, very good evening. So this is the chest of drawer what she has created and yes, she has placed the idle source of miniature ones on it. Okay. And then we have uh, some yuktas. Of course, the alavattams were uh, shared to us long ago when we did it. And now she has completed the standing Vitoba Krishna on the sari. A beautiful one. Very good alignment. Then we have, this is Shobha's Jaroka with the Ganesh in the center. Beautiful one Shobha. Hats off to you. Thank you so much for the creations and the sharing too. Then we have same another Rangoli by Shobha. Beautifully done. Thank you so much. Okay, now we will begin the session and today we will be doing this rose and I have few uh, this thing. Um, Two, three people have messaged me saying that, uh, one second, let me just uh, read it. Hi ma'am, Vanakkam. Ungala the YouTube channel regular aga parkire. Yenakku na oru beginner, yenakku simple oru sari la oru rose painting soli thara mudiyu ma. Rumba simple a soli kudunga, na oru beginner abhinu kudunga. That is, she is a beginner and she has been watching my YouTube, uh, um, the live and the earlier uh, tutorials regularly and she wants to learn, uh, she wants to start with the fabric painting and venture into the uh, field, okay. So she wanted me to uh, teach her simple way of painting a rose 
uh, which will be very very apt for the beginner so i have taken up a motif like that and this is very very simple no need to panic i mean uh, you need not have to worry at all i will teach you the simplest way of painting this uh, rose on the fabric okay so and uh, yeah her name is varalakshmi she is from tirunelveli okay and another one uh, ma'am can you just please show me uh, this thing a uh, beautiful i mean a uh, simple rose on the fabric yes i will do and she is uh, shubha from our our card so these two people have messaged me and uh, keeping that in mind today i have started the uh, so live with this painting okay good now we will begin the session hi shanta good evening hi anuradha very good evening hi brush impressions may I know your name very good evening to you okay now this is the design which we are going to do just a minute brush fell down okay this is the uh, design which we are going to do today in the class now uh, using the yellow carbon or just by keeping it below the fabric you can trace the design if the fabric is little transparent then you can always place it underneath that is below the fabric like this just under it and she is a beginner she has mentioned so in your parunga um, வரலட்சுமி இந்த மாதிரி துணிக்கு கீழே வச்சிங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு இந்த டிசைன் வந்து இப்படி நல்லா தெரியும் ஸோ ஒரு பென்சில் யூஸ் பண்ணி யூ கேன் ட்ரேஸ் த டிசைன் ஓகே அப்படி இல்லைன்னா யூ கேன் யூஸ் அன் எல்லோ கார்பன் பிகாஸ் ஹியர் வி ஆர் நாட் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் எனி பிளாக் அவுட் லைன் ஸோ எல்லோ கார்பன் வந்து யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் எல்லோ யூ ஹேவ் எல்லோ தென் யூ கெட் ஒயிட் பிங்க் அண்ட் பிளாக் ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் ஓகே இந்த ஃபோர் கார்பன்ஸ் நம்மளுக்கு கிடைக்கிது ஸோ எல்லோ கார்பன் யூஸ் பண்ணுங்கள் ட்ரேஸ் பண்ணுங்கள் ட்ரேஸ் பண்ணி முடிச்சதுக்கு அப்புறமா யூ புட் த Embroidery frame. So embroidery frame வந்து you have to make it. Just keep it there. Just frame the fabric on the ring. This is an, uh, once again another order piece. I need to dispatch it uh, by tonight. So I have left only one uh, rose. I thought I could share it to you and uh, it was a request also by one of the viewers. Just a minute. Or else I'll just drop the other side. Down like this. Okay, now I will be comfortable. Fine. So, if you look at the design, it will be very light because... Uh, okay, Anu. Good, good, good. So, if you look as far as possible, try to trace the design uh, very, very lightly. See, you could see the design with the pencil mark. Don't make it too dark. Then, after this, you have to start the work. No outlining first. just trace it if suppose if you are scared of tracing all the designs at one time and uh, because it is very very light and uh, if it uh, gets hidden what will happen if you feel in that way what you do is you trace one by one and then do the work okay here i have traced it and then now we need the colors here what we are going to use for this so the very very limited ones because entirely a, a beginners level work so we need white then we need pink also this is deep purple okay the number is uh, 6 4 and then we need crimson which comes in the six colors pack okay and apart from from that for the leaf we need sap green and yellow also okay so we have yellow a little bit of yellow of course we will be using 
so these are the colors we need for today's class now after tracing the design you need to transfer the color on the palette yes i will share the design absolutely no issue you just share your whatsapp number uh, we'll add you in the group also and uh, we'll share the design to you okay now let me keep the bottles opened itself let me not uh, transfer it because these are all uh, i have lots in the bottles some are less and matto i can take it to the brush okay now the leaf technique here what i have done looks little different and it looks like little complex uh, rather advanced level level but it is not so it is very very easy just follow the technique and you can create one similar to this and this is the uh, colors which we will be using in today's session okay I will just keep it aside and let it scale because it's an order piece. So I have to be more and more. Okay. Now, as a beginner, you cannot paint all the portions in the beginning itself. So you have to move, uh, do one by one the petals. So take only one petal, finish off that, and then move on to the next one. If you are really well versed with the painting, you can paint all the petals together. a single time and then start shading it finally do the outline everything okay otherwise for a beginner do the petals one by do the flower one by one that is a petal by petal you have to do now this is of the brush i have taken the angular brush for a beautiful movement now what you do is just dip it in water then wipe it it is wet okay Now take white color. I'm going to do the center petal first. This portion here. Okay, we have two portions, and uh, I think you can take up any rose uh, pattern from the net. Also, you can draw on your own and come uh, paint the patterns. Okay. Now take white color first. Paint the petal with white base. Just apply the color. spread it thoroughly it should not be patchy i am using an angular brush so i can move the brush in all directions for a proper application take some more here okay now the base white coat is over for one petal understood now we need to take the darker color so for the darker color the color which i'm going to use here is there is no uh, hard and fast it's see any kind of fabric can be used for fabric painting okay we do it on silk sari synthetics cotton semi cotton silk cotton tussar any kind of fabric is good for painting only thing is you must have a very good control over the application of the color especially depending upon the texture of the fabric how much it blots so you have to test it one corner and then accordingly you have to act so now here the first base coat is over now i'm going to load the brush this is a round brush i'm going to load the brush with pink deep purple okay i have loaded the color the shading is done towards the top so just apply the color at the top of the pattern that is the petal done okay now what you do is with the flat brush try to merge both the colors try to blend it i feel this is simplest way of doing just give a rotatory movement 
done and then to and fro it's done once one petal shading is over yeah velvet cushion velvet cloth will be patchy so you just give a white base coat and then start the regular color application on top okay or on velvet you can have some patchwork also you do it on a different kind of fabric and attach it to the uh, velvet cloth now wash the brush because it's little pinkish so wash the brush and wipe it now again load the white in the brush apply the petal which is next to the first one spread it thoroughly this is a kerala mundu dupatta a beautiful cotton stuff very good for painting now just like the first one load the brush with pink apply for the petal the tip portion rather the top area and then using the flat brush round brush is number 3 samyukta just give a blending mix both the colors not till the bottom just half way through for the second petal also the shading is done is that clear now we will move on to the top petals every time you keep washing the brush because we use the same brush for the blending also so this there will be little bit of pinkish color in it so let us not transfer that onto the new petal so for whenever you start with the new petal wash the brush and load the brush with white color here in the case it might be a different color also in some other cases take white we will try one stroke also after some time uh, those who are new who wanted to practice you can practice this especially with the movement of the brush and then we we will later on move on to one stroke then load the brush with uh, pink just the top portion now the the brush with Uh, in which i have loaded it with white i did not wash it because base is also white so we can might as well use the same brush without washing you can use it for blending the color very very simple and easy and very quick also you can complete it uh and uh, here i have not washed the fabric because it's pure cotton and uh, less starch so i did not wash it now we will move on to the next petal see hardly it takes few seconds to complete a petal apply the color whatever the color may be here it is white and blue it could be yellow and orange also the rose so you can choose you can decide the color and accordingly you can paint the technique is the same then with the round brush number 3 i repeat draw the outline towards the top always for the rose 
then using the flat brush which we used for the first application give a rotatory movement there by mixing it with the base okay so this is done now wash the brush wipe it the next petal again with white don't you feel it is easy how many of you would uh, start immediately just try a small rose at your end and get, let me know the feedback whether this technique is easier for you you can even use your flat brush if you don't have an angular brush never mind use your flat brush you can try on cushion covers pillow covers and dupattas like this table cloth bed sheets good shobha very good and then slightly smudge it with the base don't bring the smudging towards the bottom okay the top color is uh, uh, given a pinkish uh, look and the bottom of each petal is white done now coming to the bottom leave of the center as it is we will do little later now i have loaded it with white follow the outline don't add water because the fabric is so smooth and uh, it doesn't blot much beautiful texture lovely one to paint on so we have done the first coating then with a round brush load it with now this is towards the outer again the top portion of the petal okay is that uh, anu while blending should be take little bit white no not necessary that is why i told you not to wash the brush this already has white in it okay again you did, after giving the color or the tip there is no need for you to load the brush with white again or the lighter color whatever uh, base color you are giving okay use the same brush for the blending only thing is the brush should be either flat or angular that's it that's the main uh, thing which we require here for a proper blending that understood now we will wash it remember to wash your brush every time when you start a new petal now i am going to load the brush with pink just blend it wash it now 
then we have two more petals see this is so smooth there is no difference between the two portions the painted and the unpainted one we are not applying too much of paint very less of paint and then spreading it thoroughly on the fabric and not even water is added just the spreading makes a makes the main difference in it okay just give a rotatory movement thereby disturbing the pink color and blending it with the base white remember beginners you have to do petal by petal don't paint it fully do it one by one you can finish your dupatta in a day this is a last minute order so i started yesterday yes uh, samyukta i am taking the color directly from the bottle i am not adding water to it and the blending is done immediately the first base coat is given don't wait for the white to dry here in this case now done okay now what you do is take the round brush take the red color fill the center portion with red color little white apply for the area which is next to it this is the center most the thalamus portion first apply the color and start blending it with the base color red color slowly wash the brush wipe it and then blend it the center most portion should be darker and little bit a lighter lighter and finally the lightest that's it done and then you can make lines like this before the red strokes strokes make strokes like this. okay then take a crimson let me keep the other colors aside now final touch up for the flower take crimson don't add water if you want you can add 1 is to 1 ratio that's it take it with a wet brush now you make the outline with crimson of each petal so you can easily earn when you start painting a dupatta or on any variable such simple patterns with easy techniques
just outline it so your profit time will definitely become <coughs> your so fast time will definitely become a profit time Done. now the <coughs> excuse me the main floral pattern is over and now we will move on to the leaves leaves is very very simple once again just follow the technique carefully and for the leaf you need a red little very less of red green and yellow okay yellow let me take and keep it on the palette do you all like this isn't it simple take little yellow and keeping it on the palette because i don't want to have all the colors of it done now load the brush just follow the technique carefully you must have noticed the leaves of the roses right it will have sharp edges so that can be done with the chisel end of this brush okay now load the brush with wash it wipe it load the brush with uh, green can you see the color which i'm loading right now or should i move it to this side yes now you could see the colors also load the brush with green just apply on the fabric follow the outline okay now what you do is take some more green and then and this chisel end should face outside so keep it like this and move it like this i will just get up and i'll show you a little closer I'll zoom it rather. I'm loading it with uh, green. See here. I will do the next plotting once again. Just take the color. Apply the color first. It's a fresh color. Very smooth. Now. just keep the brush see the end take it in take it out in out in out done one half i have done okay now before the now for the other half of the uh, leaf keep it the other side done then take very little of yellow very less of yellow just apply here for one half that is one half of the side the petal take little red tender leaves little red apply on the other side understood little yellow on one side like this just blend it and then take little red apply on the other side and blend with the base so you have green application first then yellow on one side red very little of red towards the other side creating a uh, tender leaves rose leaves hi sujata thank you okay now this is only half i have done i'll do it again just load the brush with the paint one half i have not done so i'm painting it the other half with green color now keep the brush out like this then take it in done 
okay now i will do this bit again i will do it apply the color fill up the leaf fill it up once the color is filled up then start making the fringes at the sides turn it very slowly you do it you need not have to trace these corner designs just the outline alone you can uh, trace and then do the coloring now yellow at one side one half of the leaf if it is extra just wash the brush and blend it then little bit of red to get a tender leaf effect apply it towards one corner and blend it with green color that's it understood isn't it very simple and easy hi mean actually good evening now for the late comers i will do one more leaf wash the brush wipe it load it with the uh, green color no water added just fill the leaf now are you all there because the the current went off now i am switching over to the data now just let me know whether you could see whether i am audible and visible any one of you please uh, say yes or no hi anandavalli good evening okay sujata thank you thank you hi shobha thank you okay so now this is green color i'm going to apply first for the leaf this is for the leaf first okay then little bit of yellow towards one side blend it then little bit of red whatever you have taken for the red now which uh, for the flower it will be there on the palette use that itself okay and then now for the side just here i will not do because the next uh, the other leaf is overlapping so i will do the outer edges from the lower half understood any doubt now we will move on to the detailing of the and the detailing over here and then for the leaf also okay now the flower is almost dry we can start with the a little bit of extra shading uh, there is a uh, strokes i should say the other leaves also you have to complete the same way okay now for the leaf inner detailing don't take brown color use uh, red and green itself just take little red little green mix both mix both the colors add very little bit of black very less just see the quantity of black i am taking
to get a little darker tone okay done now for each leaf you need to draw the midrib so start from the center of the uh, that is towards the top start it from the top draw a line exactly in the center dividing the leaf into two halves and then make tiny veins on it same way for the next leaf also don't complete it it is not completed now towards the center just draw few lines and keep dots on it this thing is okay now for the leaf one more step is left just take a low or white or a low and white mixed any one because we have been using red white yellow all those colors right it will be there on the palette of course so take the color make it little uh, watery not too watery little watery take that color what you do is just follow the veins of the leaves either on top of the vein or below the vein make a slight application not for all the veins just for one or two that's enough try on the pillow covers cushion covers or even on the tote bags sling bags just try simple very simple technique no prayer this thing is required that and on a few drops i will show it any doubt so i'll go for a, re, a quick recap first tracing then white application and then little bit of uh, pink over the top portion and blending it with the base and finally a red outline then the leaves now on the roses what we do is take a flat brush or an angular brush what do i go with I'll take uh, the angular brush itself. Okay. Take little red. Take little red. It's a dry stroke, dry brush technique. So load the brush with very less of paint. Just keep opening it. Don't load too much, and then start the strokes from the bottom of the petals. Just the strokes. Okay. Just a little bit of. Touch. 
लक्ष्मी मैम गुड इवनिंग थैंक यू आनंदवली थैंक यू रेखा ओके नाउ जस्ट लेट मी क्लोज द बॉटल्स बिकॉज आई टोल्ड इट्स एन ऑर्डर पीस राइट आई हैव बी मोर केयरफुल आई डोंट वांट टू स्पॉइल इट आई नीड टू आयन इट एंड देन दिस पैच इट samyukta the number of flowers it all depends upon uh, your choice there is no absolutely uh, hard and fast rule so towards the bottom so on either side i have made a continuous uh, set of flowers and on the body portion just here and there made about uh, 8 to 10 numbers of these sized roses everything is ours so you create it okay uh, let me just spread it and i'll show you we have finished the session and uh, uh, this of course i will do it later any doubt in the application of the green color and making it like a rose leaf the technique did you all understand the technique and finally one more thing is left sorry sorry you you have to do uh, a little bit of wash around the sides so for the wash take either teal blue or uh, this thing uh, greenery i am going to take greenery okay so take greenery on the palette add little bit of water make it too watery okay make it watery Just see here. Make it very, very watery. You are going to give a water wash around the sides of the flowers. Why like that? Maybe you would have applied too much of uh, paints, uh, Anuba. Uh, did you apply too much of paints, and uh, or else uh, did you do one stroke painting where you will be loading the brush with lot of paint like? Uh, if you do like this it, this is not at all sticky and it the unpainted portion and the painted portion sir you will feel the same absolutely no difference at all between the two portions okay now with the flat brush or with the angular brush load the brush with the color just apply they wanted green so i'm giving green you can use light blue also i'm just doing it around the leaves here and all i have not completed i will do it soon after the session Either blue or green will look good for this. Maybe for a different color uh, rose, you may choose some other color also for the wash around it. That's it. But it should be too watery. Remember that. Don't take direct paint. Make it very much diluted. Done. 
any doubt yeah please do try on a different fabric and find the difference you will find the difference uh, by yourself when the work is done on different kind of fabric too okay even when i do on uh, chiffon or any other tussar it is not that sticky uh, provided uh, you have loaded uh, too much of paint number 1 and uh, if not it should be a uh, one stroke paint where we use lot of paint to get the strokes okay so this is the work we have done and in it one second somebody has sent me some message uh, ma'am has sent what is it sorry for no it is different i thought she has shared uh, our article but uh, she has shared something else uh, it's okay and you know i give my feedback later why is it saying yes i got it i'm not getting it oh my god Okay, fine. Uh, I'll see from the other uh, this thing. I will spread the uh, dupatta and I'll show you the bottom also. What I have painted over. There, okay. Now this is for the uh, body of the. I mean the, for the entire dupatta. Um, for dark color fabric, same. No, no, no. It is not a must. Okay. See for the dark color fabric, you can choose uh, even pearl metallic colors also. No issues. or you can give a white base coat and then try with different colors not exactly the same white and uh, pink and red combination you can try with yellow and orange orange and brown different colors thank you reka thank you sure sujata uh, have you shared your number earlier whatsapp number if not please do share i will uh, send you the designs okay no issues See, these are how many Samyukta wanted the number of roses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten numbers I have done. The roses alone are ten numbers. And uh, apart from that, uh, towards the corner of both the sides of the tupata, I have done the floral pack. Okay, this one and these two things in one side. Then we have the roses painted. Simple one. All of you can try. little bit of touch up is there of course need to sit and work thank you anu so many anus in the group super very nice getting connected with you all and it is blue and green they wanted so i have given blue and green. okay roses are always very pretty just like ganesha roses are the best one to paint with and just see the leaves here uh, the sides looks very natural right with an easy simple technique just see these strokes just with a the brush there is no need for you to trace all these detailing okay just with the brush itself you can create such patterns towards the side and adding a, a little bit of red and uh, yellow 
will give beauty to the rose it's like a tender rose you must have seen just visualize the rose leaves and the needs completion here so we'll be sitting and doing sure meenakshi sure i'll share thank you shobha thank you so much for joining and uh, we will make it on uh, thursday uh, coming thursday as i told you uh, hours will be scheduled for mondays and thursdays meet again with a different article take care and bye bye thank you Thank you Anu thank you Anuba thank you so much